Oh yeah, another hump day, aka Wednesday, aka just like any other day here at the Morning Mill, Real Antique Wood, Irvington, New Jersey, Tom Simpson, Mike Schickalone, and we have a very exciting day for you today here, right? That's right. Oh yeah. We got some stuff, and you know why? Because it's Wood Wednesday. So we're going to be working with some wood. So we're going to actually throw it to the archives because as some of you, most of you should know, Anthony and Gary are in in Indonesia um, sourcing some boat wood. So, uh, so we'll throw it to the archives. This is a video that we created a few months back of Anthony creating a tenon on the end of a uh, beam for uh, for somebody. So it's one of Michael's first. First now, what? Videos. videos. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You've come a long way. I have. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. We'll be right back. Victory achieved, now you know how to create your own tenon. How about that? You've got the power. You could bring a camel to water, but you can't make him drink. And you could give a man a fish and feed him for a day or teach him to fish and he'll never go hungry. Now you know how to make a tenon. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got next? <laughs> uh, so next is another DIY segment with Tom and Lisa. Um, this one's cool and so quick and easy. Um, all again, that's all what she said. hey, that's somewhere in here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this one's good because I mean, again, you know, we try to source DIY projects with the stuff that we have here, and this one, hundred percent, is everything that we have here. It's so easy; Tom could do it. Um, so, but he didn't. Lisa did. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's uh, go hang it up downstairs for a coat hanger DIY project with Tom and Lisa. See you down there. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us down here in the mill for DIY Wednesday. Uh, me and Lisa. This is, right now, a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> a tall piece of wood. That we have um, tons of. That we have tons of. And it could really be used for anything. For a lot of things. Could it could have been like a fireplace mantle leave-in as a little... There we go. Little shelf and Getting into that season. something somewhere along the line. But we found this and it has these cool holes in it already. So we decided to do All natural. a coat rack. Ooh, coat <laughs> rack. How are we doing a coat rack? So railroad ties. We got big ones. We got little ones. We sell those here, right? Yeah. We got a big drill. <laughs> That's a big ass drill. We got a big drill bit. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't even have to use it, but it's a cool thing that we at least have. And I could if at least show you if holes. we wanted to make more holes, what we would do. So let me let, let's start with that first. Okay. So going with the thickness of what this board is, let's say we were gonna use one of the big ones to put on the front there. Let's mark this that we'd go in about that deep. 
Okay, so about uh, two inches or so? Yeah. Inch and a half. Then put it on the drill. I already pre-cut a little piece of blue tape. And if we put the blue tape around here, we would know where we would have to stop once we plunged into the That's piece of wood. Idea. That's a great idea. So you would keep drilling, 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 whoop, until you got to there, and then you would know that you were deep enough to where you wanted to stop that railroad tie. That is a really good idea. <laughs> But with that being said, <laughs> being that we already have nice holes here, we could just push these in. And if they're not going in, you can bang it in with your hand. We head. could always bang. <laughs> or you could use somebody <laughs> else's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's suggested. <laughs> or a rubber mallet. <laughs> or, <laughs> or they sometimes they fit in really, really nice. Now it's starting to come together. Yeah. Now it's starting to look like a coat hanger. That's it. Let's do the other side, and then we could... Work it from there. Uh-oh. This is no longer just a piece of wood. Herman Munster. <laughs> 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 and then we do, it, being that we have the little ones, maybe that could be something that you put right on the, right on the front here, a little lower, anywhere you'd like to have that. We can, right. uh, as soon as Levi gives us back. <laughs> so we can hang anything on. You can hang oh, your coats there on there. You, go. you can hang your hats on there. Got you can hats. hang your hat right Even on the top. On the top. <laughs> and then your coats. That's a very Make cool coat cool. hanger. <laughs> <laughs> number of things you can do. A we number of things. We sell all these materials here. Yep. This is very easy. Very easy. Pick this out I of the yard. That's it. Railroad ties we sell right in the showroom. Yep. All right, well, that was we very cool. We even have cool. the hats here. And we have the hats. Don't forget about the hats. Don't forget about them. Maybe part of our winter swag, <laughs> winter, winter swag pack. That's right. It's getting to that season, too. All right, cool. Where we need our coats and our hats and our stuff, right? Yep. All right, well, thank well, you, Lisa. You're welcome. Another great episode of DIY. Back to the studio. See you there. Bye. Thanks. Boom. Mind blown with our DIY prowess. That's code hanging, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a coat hanger, baby. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but uh, that was a coat hanger made by Lisa, who does an excellent job on her DIY segments. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Anthony. Um, very cool stuff. You guys can do that at home. You can buy the railroad ties here, and you can buy the piece of wood here, and uh, yeah. And the hat. And the hat. Don't That's forget right. the hat. That's it's right. hot. it's gonna be hot season and let me tell you when i first started working here i didn't know what cold was until I started working here and those hats are money yeah it gets they actually, very cold in here yeah as it gets hot in the summer but those hats actually do one of the best jobs i've ever had in it with a knit hat except Ooh. the ones that my mom makes me thanks mom cool well damn bro something i feel like pumping my fist <laughs> makes me think of Staten Island, which is funny, because we're going to Staten Island tomorrow on our Staten Island restaurant tour. We're going to be pumping our fists and ordering cheeseburgers. You're going to see some of the cool places that we use our reclaimed wood, all right? So if you're into fist pumping and guys that look like Mike, stick around for our Staten Island tour tomorrow. we got a few great restaurants, and you're going to see how we use our reclaimed wood. What's better than that? Nothing. All right, that's enough. I'm oh, sorry. I got, I got excited. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. You it's in my know. element. Yeah, it's in your blood. <laughs> um, so before we go, thank you to our new subscribers. Uh, we have gotten like, I don't know, uh, half a dozen over the past couple weeks, which is good, which is really good for us. Thank you guys to you who subscribe. And thank you to those of you who have been subscribed. We appreciate it. Let us know that we're doing a good job. Guys, thank you very much. Mike, do you have anything before we go? No. Okay. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow in Staten Island. See you guys. Have a good one. <laughs>